Wembe Yamba need to be tested. Dog, this nigga just dropped 50 points in like 27 minutes with eight threes. The league is fucking lucky. This man does not want to play like Hakeem Olajuwon. Instead, want to play like fucking KD. If he started dominating the paint, imagine how many more points he would score if he was just sitting in the paint and wait for the lob or just get past the ball and then just put it put it up. Like, dog, this nigga is hitting step up three. That boy hitting step backs. He walking on the court, banging it in the nigga's mouth, paws, and he's dropping 50. And he's one of the youngest players in NBA history to drop 50 points. And he's going to be the youngest NBA player to ever drop 60, 70, and of course, maybe even 100 because he has that potential. Like, if there's one player with potential to drop 100 points by himself, it's out of him, Luka, and Giannis. Giannis, if he gets lucky to hit like five threes, but Victor Wembeyama has that potential to drop 100 points onto the next segment. The Phoenix Suns has been getting buckets this season, and they're proving that, hey, we're one of the top teams in the West. What happened last playoffs, that might have just been the flu. We're ready to come back, and we're ready to who? We have a healthy team, a healthy Devin Booker, a healthy Kevin Durant, a healthy Bradley Bill, and they're showing like, hey, look at last season, guess what? We are still a team to look out for. These guys have won like seven or eight out of their last ten games, and right now currently stand number three in the Western Conference, a tough Western Conference, by the way, which brings me to my next segment. How good can the Western Conference truly be? Because... This, this Western Conference is actually insane because even the teams that are not so good are looking good. Like the Houston Rockets, they currently hold a record of 8-4. and four. The Rockets are saying, hey, we're young, but we might be here. We might be arriving. This, this Rockets team is giving me a bit of the 20-21 to 21 cast. Like, you know, the season before we had the pop-off season, like, you know, hey, we was doing all right. You feel me? We started off the season very good and then ended off very poorly. But, yeah, this is what the Rockets team is giving me. But, with this going around, hey, they have some players who might have been better than, than that 2021 Cavs team. Which leads me to the next segment. The Cleveland Cavaliers right now hold a record of 13-0. and 0. Tonight they play the Bulls, so let's go ahead and say 14-0. and 0. And uh, they are shocking the world. And if you've been a fan of me for a while and you've been watching me for a while, you know I've been saying the Cavs are going to be a team to look out for. I sound like a broken record player every time I say it. The Cavs are a team to look out for. The Cavs are the best team in basketball right now, and I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. And when we play the Celtics on Tuesday, I truly do believe we're going to beat them. We're going to stay undefeated. The Cavs are that team. The Cavs are a team where it's just like, dang, I, where, where did that come from? But if you've been watching, you knew, hey, this was possible because we have Kenny Axel as our coach, and he's been doing great. He's been letting Mobley run the point, and it's definitely been working. And Mobley is having an amazing season. He's putting up a DPOY. Cal caliber year he's putting up an all-star caliber year and man hey you might even go put him in the mvp it's not like you can with donovan mitchell on to the next segment which is the los angeles lakers okay positive for the lakers they have not lost at home yet negative um yeah d'angelo russell yeah that's the negative next segment the warriors oh boy i was wrong i thought the warriors gonna come out here and be the tenth seed them niggas is whipping ass Steph Curry is saying, I'm not that goddamn old. But he was proving that, hey, I was worth it. I was worth getting picked up. He said, I could re replace Klee. And it's definitely been working because the Mavs ain't doing too good because Luka want to play hero ball and shit. But the Warriors, they've been whooping ass and they've been doing very good. And they was winning without Steph, which is fucking scary. What kind of black magic are they fucking doing? They need to stop that shit. When are they going to stop that shit? Like, when are the Warriors just going to fucking stop? Like, I feel bad for these this team franchise because when Steph retires, that Black Magic going to retire with him. So, for the next 20 years, y'all going to be ass because y'all don't have a future no more because y'all gave up Joe the Bull. But the Warriors have been fucking elite, and that's insane to me. He, they, they've been fucking good. Like, what? No, who hasn't been very good? The Philadelphia 76ers. Uh -huh, I remember when, they, when everybody was saying, oh, Oh, the Sixers is gonna be better than the Cavs. That's the guess given. They're gonna be, they're gonna be, okay. it's gonna be the Sixers, the Knicks, the Bucks, and the, and the Celtics. Oh, the bitch enjoy the bottom. Nope, they're two and nine. Enjoy the fucking bottom. But Jared McCain, that boy's a bucket. That boy's getting freaking bucket. And I don't really like the homophobic comments towards him. But you know, basketball fans tend to do that. And you know, I get it if you're joking. But some of these comments seem really homophobic towards him, and that's not really good for the basketball community. I'm gonna be very honest with you. 
do I sound like a hypocrite because of the Jalen Green video? Um, no, because I did say he was doing a weird thing. But I, I also said in the comments, I'm not homophobic. I don't support, you know, pro people being homophobic. That's a little weird. It's like, let people live. But Jerry McCain is a bucket. He just had like a 32-point game, which was his career high in his rookie season. Hey, that boy getting buckets. He putting up a rookie of the year campaign. He may not win it because that team fucking sucks. But, hey, he's putting up a great season in Philly. Hopefully, the team doesn't fucking suck by the middle of the season. But, right now, they fucking suck. But, that is it. That is all. The minute is far in the video. No matter what, like and sub. Or, no. That's your choice. But, that's all I got for this video. I am out.